first day of my Euro trip and we are in Switzerland and today we're going to Mount Titlis and it's gonna be super cold it's 35 degrees um, in Basel where we're staying but it's gonna be 10 degrees there I mean I do have a sweater but let's see just reach on the top of Mount Titlis and there's snow! It's so pretty here! It's, it's nice and snowy but it's not super cold and it's perfect. Just take a look at this view! Wow, this is such a beautiful city. So we're in Lucerne right now. Today is day two and we are headed to Interlaken and Jungfrau. and check out my top knot we're at the cuckoo clock factory and this is where most of these clocks are made look how pretty they are so these are the Rhine Falls it's a very baby version of the Niagara Falls and I'm gonna go on the boat right now It's day four and today we are in Salzburg and we are at this amazing cathedral. I mean, who can go to Europe and not go to a cathedral, right? So this is the city of Mozart and I'm on this lock bridge. This is one of the prettiest streets for shopping. Unfortunately, we did not have enough time, but I did end up buying a pair of earrings from H&M. Vegetarians is one of my favorite places to eat falafels and guess where I'm at? So I'm at a wooden shoe factory where all of these shoes are made out of wood and the person working here showed us how they make them. Basically they use these two machines to carve out the wood and create these shoes and basically 
that's the process. I tried the shoes on and they're super uncomfortable. So unfortunately, we have to leave Amsterdam before 10 o'clock. Our hotel is like an hour away from the, the damn square, but I love Amsterdam. Today is day seven. And we are headed to Brussels, Belgium. Brussels, Belgium. Sorry, that's my brother. <laughs> Who can leave Belgium without having French fries and waffles? Cheese, fries, waffles, and there goes my diet. Now we're just heading um, inside mini Europe. So that was mini Europe for you. That was blown away by the details of every single structure. So now we are headed to Paris and we will be reaching there tonight today is day eight and guess where i am Woo! i am on the second level of the eiffel tower and take a look at this view it is super cloudy today and it's super cold it's like 20 degrees and that's what I'm wearing. Now we are at Champs Elysees, and it's one of the most popular streets in Paris for shopping. But one of the stores that I'm super excited about is Lottery. but I just wanted to take a look at the structure um, during the night time okay, as you can tell I'm freezing I'm really cold right now but you have to take a look at the view so it's our second last day today and I finally made it to Disneyland Paris. I'm so excited today. So we're just leaving Disneyland. Every ride, all the songs in the parade, everything was in French. And even the lines at all the rides were like really long. Overall, I was a bit disappointed, but I had fun. It is our last day in Paris and we are making our way up to the, who I'm tired, Montmartre Sacré Coeur Church. And, whew, there are a million stairs to climb. <sighs> okay, so let's do this. Are we halfway there yet? Or no? Okay, we're almost there. Notre Dame and we are gonna go inside so I'm finally inside the church and it looks really pretty so we just
just got out of the church and now we're gonna go have our last meal in Europe. So good. <laughs> so I got the special service at the airport. <laughs> so I'm finally at the airport and we finally made it. It was a pretty hectic day. So about the whole trip, um, I was on a tour and that is something I would never recommend that anyone should do because there are so many restrictions when it comes to the time you spend at the attractions or the food you eat or the hotels you stay at. Everything is so fixed. Um, so that's why today was a great day because we went to both the places by bus and train on our own. And when it comes to exploring a European country, you can do that if you have internet and if you can just use Google Maps and do some research. Um, so all in all, I had such a great time and thank you so much for watching. I know this vlog is pretty long, but thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye!